In this lesson, we're going to take a look at monopolies and government regulation. An unregulated monopoly will produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. This represents the profit maximizing quantity and the price for the monopoly. Well, let's say that the government would like the firm to produce more than QM. What could the government do? The government could mandate that the firm produces at the socially optimal level, which is where demand equals marginal cost. Prices would go down and quantity would increase. An example of this would be a price ceiling. Now there's a problem when we are at the socially optimal level for the firm because we're showing huge losses because we are well below the average total cost curve. The government would most likely have to subsidize the firm. So what could happen here between the firm and the government? Because the last thing the government wants to do is regulate to the points where the firm is experiencing major losses. The two can come to an agreement called a fair return. And this is where price and quantity will be located where demand equals average total cost. So the fair return price is in between the unregulated price and the socially optimal price. And the fair return quantity is located between the unregulated quantity and the socially optimal quantity. This is the intersection which represents where total revenue equals total cost and it's also referred to as a break-even point for the firm.